The die halves are attached to platens on the die casting machine. These platens are large, thick blocks of steel, which will not deflect during injection. They include the stationary platen and the movable platen. The stationary platen holds the die half that is called the cover half. This platen has a hole directly in line with the metal injection cylinder. The movable platen holds the other die half, called the ejector half. This movable platen slides back and forth on ways. When the metal has solidified and the die halves separate, mechanically or hydraulically actuated ejector pins release the casting from the ejector half of the die. Before closing, the die halves are lubricated by external sprays to assist in cooling, casting release, and to minimize die wear. Lubricants, usually water-soluble, can be manually applied, but are often sprayed automatically using central die spray systems. The application of die spray is usually followed by an air blast to blow off residual water and to remove any loose metal left from the previous shot. After release from the die, the casting can be removed manually with tongs or dropped onto a conveyor or down a chute for transfer from the machine or removed using automatic extractors. These extractors are commonly used and often provide automatic die spray lubrication.